so I always get asked how do I maintain the body the waist and all that good stuff I've always had a small waist ever since I was a young girl shout out to my mom for passing that down good luck so for some reason people seem to think that I lost so much weight when really all I lost was like seven to ten pounds that's nothing like I went from I went from being a four six to a zero two like it's not like I went from a 16 to a zero and it's like a so I always get confused when people are like where did she get that waist like boo I've been at this waist been at this a small waist is not something that happens overnight or magically just appears out of nowhere you're you either have the genes for it or you don't so like I said it's genetic unless you decide to do other stuff procedures um i don't know lipo like people say taking your ribs out first off if you're taking your ribs out you need help <laughs> but it's never it's never that serious never that serious as far as the weight loss um i happen to just lose weight naturally like i didn't do anything special i wasn't i don't diet ever i don't know what that is what's a diet I eat whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want. Um, I do think that is a big blessing and I'm pretty sure it's not going to last for long, but I'm enjoying it while it is. Also, very important factor in my weight loss. I have an extremely fast metabolism. Too much information, but hey, you guys want to know. Um, I sh a bitch shits a lot, okay? <laughs> as real as that sounds, yes. I be shitting, okay? Moving on from that, um, as some of you may know, I have been hiking, and that's also, that's not really make, that's not, I'm not losing weight from it, I'm just toning and tightening. So like I said, hiking is helping me tighten and tone, which is really important because I'm kind of sloppy. The reason why I got sloppy is because I stopped working out for a really long time. So when I was younger, I used to be up in the gym every day, every day. And then I met Leo Bay, and I was like, working out who? Deuces. Um, and then I gained a whole bunch of happy weight. I also have started to do squats and lunges in at home. I don't do them at the gym. Like I said, I refuse to be in a gym setting. Absolutely. The reason I chose to talk about it is because I always get asked, what's the secret? And there's no secret. Honest to God, there's no secret. It's not a secret. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know by now that I would brag if it was something else. Like, I'll be the first one to be like, yo, look at what I just said. It's just not. Like, there's no secret. Social media has helped me realize the delusion that people really think that women can have small waists. Like, I've seen small waists all my life. Like I said, I share everything with you guys. I'm the one that puts you on to shit. Remember that. I have nothing to keep to myself. I don't care to keep anything to myself. I'm not petty. Trust me, when I have kids, if I can't lose weight, best believe I will be doing the mommy makeover. And best believe I will put you onto the doctor. Don't worry. So to all my ladies in the world, I got you. Don't worry. I put you on. If there's something to put you on to, I put you on. Don't worry. Speaking of putting you on, I'm about to put you on to something. Weight loss is up here I know what you're thinking how can weight loss have anything to do with what you think it has everything to do with what you think everything you ever notice when people say oh i can never lose weight oh i'm trying to lose weight and i can't those are the people that don't lose weight why because they've already attracted that energy so of course if you're if you're saying i can't lose weight guess what you're not gonna lose weight it doesn't matter how hard you work out it doesn't matter what you can live in the gym and eat crackers and you still won't lose the weight because it's not it's not yeah it has to do with physical but it's really more you are unhappy with your body image wherever it is skinny not skinny whatever the fuck you're going to keep attracting that energy and you're gonna really that has to do with everything in life what you think is what transpires in your life from weight loss to the dudes that you talk to to the friends I notice when girls go oh dudes ain't shit you keep thinking that you're gonna meet dudes who ain't shit you see what i'm saying
What you constantly focus on, good or bad, is what will always attract in your life. So if you think positive, you get positive.